Hello everyone, I'm Heather and after losing 70 pounds, I realized that the true ticket to my happiness was not my size four skinny jeans. And now I am on uh, a mission to inspire other career dieters and people that like to change their mindset, gain momentum and transform their life finally to be well without dieting and other crazy desperate measures that we go to thinking that we're on the path to feeling good when we really aren't. So I have to be honest with you all. I really struggled. I've been sitting here for a while, started thinking about this yesterday. And for the first time in a long time, I struggled because I had so many things I wanted to bring to your attention. I had so many ideas of what to talk about. And then, you know, you sort of get in that I was just stuck. Like then I started writing them all down. And then I was like, eh we sort of did that a few weeks ago. Oh, I did that a year ago. But um, as you know, we're constantly reviewing and, and looking at where we are. And then I got thinking about the time of the year that we're in now. Of course, this applies to any of the 12 months and the 365 days of the year. If you happen to be uh, watching and, and reading about this on the blog um, at a different point in time, it still applies. But what I hear from most people, when people come to me, they come to me and they are in a spot, usually of failure, a spot uh, where they're not feeling very well, a spot where they're not very happy. And everyone thinks that they need to go on a diet when you feel that way. <laughs> and I mean, I've been there, I get it. And I understand, but there's a reason why so many of you continue to search for wellness, continue to search for healthiness. It's because whatever you're doing isn't working and you're missing a critical piece. Once I get people to buy into this and to believe that if they do these simple things, they can actually be in control of their health, be in control of their food choices. And of course, there's a lot of um, getting to know what uh, makes you tick and whatnot. But the one thing that majority of you are not doing and not doing well is planning. You're simply not planning. Now, I hear it all the time. Um, I go to work every day. I don't need to plan my day. I know when I get to work, this is what I need to do. But then I start asking them what happens before work and what happens after work, what happens on the weekends. And then they start to see where things are falling apart because they did not plan. I also get the other end of the spectrum. I work with a lot of folks that are um, looking uh, towards retirement, uh, maybe have scaled back um, and aren't working as much. Um, I've worked with many people with the transition um, from working full time for their entire lives to transitioning to to retirement. And you know, when you get to retirement, you're like, why do I need a schedule? But some of the most unhealthy folks I know are retired because they don't have a plan. And so even if you are so busy, and I don't want you to be busy, I want you to be productive. I always say to people, oh, you know, how are you? What's going on? Oh, I'm so busy. And I say it every now and then, and then I just cringe and I'm like, wait, no, I'm not so busy. I have a lot going on this week, but I've been very productive. Um, and, and I know I've been very productive because I have a plan and I'm crossing things off the list. So if you are feeling as if you're not healthy enough, your weight isn't in the right spot, maybe you set out um, day one of the year with these lofty goals and you were rocking and rolling and you were doing everything and then um, something came at you and you fell off the wagon and then you never caught, quite got back on or you were so distraught that you never got back on, whatever the situation is, you all know these things. So bear with me. I realize that this, I hope I'm, I keep telling myself in my mind as the words come out, don't, don't pile on too many topics here. But if we could just talk about the plan, I've spoken to you uh, about it uh, many times. Those of you who follow me on a regular basis, you need to have the plan, which is not my plan. 
Just not Susie Q's plan. She's not Barbara's plan, your plan. You need to have the plan for you. And um, as over the course of the last few years, I've had an opportunity to work with thousands of people and the most successful are the ones who have the plan for them figured out. And that is one of the reasons why I created a wellness journal and a wellness planner because people were trying to do it um, in their, in their school planner or what, or, you know, whatever they were using, they didn't have all the reminders and the stuff that I talk about. And so, um, they were just seeing a lot of failure because they had little pieces of paper all around. They hadn't thought many of you just simply need to plan your mornings better to be well. I kid you not. I kid you not. Many of you need to get your rear and gear and plan your afternoons and evenings. And when I say plan, what are you going to do between the minute you get up and the minute you're walking out the door? A lot of people get in trouble right in that little area. They make four, uh, poor food choices. And a lot of people do the same thing in the, in the afternoon and evening hours. So how can we plan your schedule for those times? How can we look at that stuff? How can we look at what your top priorities need to be every day? Not a massive, long laundry list of things you need to do. What are the top things that you need to focus on today? I just so happen to have a bigger list than usual today. <laughs> I will admit, but I do have the top things I have to get done. And then the rest, if I have time, it's going to be, it's going to be a great day. But many of you are just trying to bite off too much or you have this really, really long list and you have no plan for it and you have no idea how you're going to get it through and you waste so much time. And as you move through your day, each step that you make, you're making a decision and it's not the right decision. With a plan, you can make the right decision. It's the same thing that I talk about all the time and this is actually in my wellness planner. Those of you that are struggling with food, you also need the plan for you in your life. The best thing that I ever did for myself was I took a one piece of paper and I sort of have it designed in the book. One piece of paper, not sort of, I have it in the book, the way that I sort of did it. It was a little bit longer in a different, a different format, but we needed to put in a book format. So I looked at each day of the week, all seven days, guys, now, you can leave some loosey-goosey, but all seven days, what does everyone in this household need to eat? I lost some of you there, didn't I? Because you get to Wednesday night and you have no idea, you're tired, you had a crazy business meeting, something, you know, flat tire, left your coffee on the counter when you were on the way out the door and it gets to Wednesday evening when you need to feed everyone and feed yourself and you have no plan. And so either junk is consumed, fast food, let's go out. And, and all of those things have different pieces that aren't good for you. Whereas if you would have had a plan, you would have been more likely to follow, follow through with it. So I write down everything that everyone needs to eat. What do lunches need to look like? What on-the-go breakfast items do I need to have? All of that kind of stuff. And I write it all down. And then I flip the page and I sort of go back and forth like this. I kid you not. And I look at Monday. Okay, we need this, this, and this. What do I have here? What do I need to buy? And everything I need to buy goes on the grocery list. Now, I order my groceries and pick them up. So sometimes you end up without the turkey that you need for the sandwiches um, and then you have to run out and get it or you have to make do with something else. But for the most part, this really works well. Now you don't have to prep every single meal and have everything on the ready. Although sometimes I know, okay, Wednesdays, uh, Wednesday we're gonna have meatballs. On Sunday, if I have a little extra time, I make the freaking meatballs. Because on Wednesday, I will be so thankful that I took an extra 20 minutes and I made meatballs. So that's another aspect of planning that so many people, they're like, why do I fail every diet? Because you never planned. You thought the diet was going to plan for you. You thought that I have, I have a lot of people, 
you know, it's, it's all the rage. And I know I fall into the category, you know, hire coaches, hire someone to help them. And I hear from them all the time. I did nothing with that program. And I've, I've, I've been there too, because you didn't plan how to fit it into your day. Or maybe you were just in such a busy, yeah, I'm going to say busy this time, part of your life. And you weren't very productive that you were never going to be able to fit in the course anyway. So, so I want you guys sort of to let yourself off the hook. If you're feeling like you're failing, if you're feeling like um, a setback has completely um, uh, tossed you off, off course, um, it's not the end of the world. You just need to plan. And part of, part of planning means that you also have to get your rear and gear and you have to get organized, my friends. Organized people feel good. People that feel good make great choices. It's just simple. It all, it all goes together. So rather than focusing on another diet, probably that involves some extreme restriction. I've been there. Um, look at how you can plan to be well. Look at what areas and what times in your life that you're making decisions that aren't in line with your goals. And let's make a plan there. Let's, let's figure that out. Can you do a hobby? Can you read a book? Is there a room you need to clean out? Is there, uh, are there chores that need to get done instead of eating or, or doing something that isn't in line with where you want to be? I have a lot of people that are, are wanting to, you know, make a jump in their career or um, wanting to go back to school. And so planning to figure out, okay, you, you work full time, you have a family, you have all these things. So how are we going to fix your schedule? so that you can make a plan so that you can succeed at this. And I think that applies to all of you that are, are chasing after health dreams too. How do we fit it in? How do we make time? You have to make time. I promise you, you have time. Even, even people who are way overwhelmed have time. And there's actually a lot of stuff that we can get rid of and we can scale back so that you're not chasing your tail all the time and you have planned, you have learned from your failures, you realize that it's not and it doesn't have to be perfect. Ditch that. Um, and when you find yourself in a place of failure or you find yourself in a place of not feeling great, revert to planning and organizing and looking how you can clean things up, clean your act up, plan a little bit better so that you can move forward. You can feel better and you can be well. So I'm going to post some things um, within uh, the blog um, that might help you a little bit more. If you'd like more information about this, I would love to talk to you about joining my mentoring group. And um, I just suggest really look at the plan. It was hard for me to plan for this today, but I realize that a lot of you need to focus on how you are spending all of the hours in your day and how can we clean that up so that you can be successful, happy, and healthy. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. As always, I ask you to be well and believe in you.